tennis coaches get a pretty bad rap when it comes to being disorganized, but I've always been a little bit different as when it comes to organization, I'm a bit of a nerd. Back in my school days, I used to absolutely love a file of facts. And all of my pencil cases had multiple compartments and my obsession with organization has carried through into my adulthood. And so this is where the sponsor of today's video comes in. Let me introduce you to ADV Tennis's brand new bag. It's called the Pro version three and I've been testing it out for the past month. Now, if you're new to the channel, I've got to tell you that I'm very picky when it comes to the products that I review as I get lots and lots of different requests from different brands. And there are two main criteria when it comes to picking the ones that I actually make videos about. Number one is I must have tried and tested and love the product myself. Or number two, it's got to be something unique that I think that you will find interesting. And this does both of those things. But there is one thing that I'm not too keen on. Let's check it out. Now, when it comes to designing the perfect tennis bag, it's pretty tough as players and coaches have very different needs. So in this video, I'm gonna cover all of my pain points as a coach, but I'm also gonna try to cover all of the pain points that I think you may feel as a tennis player as well. But if I do miss anything out, let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer your questions. Now, my first pain point may seem very, very small, but as a tennis coach, I'm on my feet for hours and hours every day. And I go to my bag hundreds of times to pick up different pieces of equipment, whether that be sun cream, my drinks bottle, any training aids and that sort of thing. And so the fact that this can hang on the fence like I've got it here is an incredible perk that maybe you haven't considered. As a player, you're probably a lot fitter than me and don't mind bending down to your bag every time. But these little hooks at the top for me are a godsend. Now, if you don't have a fence to hang your bag on, you can simply hang it onto the net or you can simply stand it up like this. And you'll know if you've seen any of my other racket bag reviews, I love a bag that stands up. Now, even if you're not lazy like me and need it to hang up or stand up just so that you don't have to keep bending down, the other benefit to having a bag that stands up or hangs up is that this backside of the bag doesn't get dirt on it. And if you play on clay courts, you'll know exactly what I mean. As I always prefer to carry a tennis bag on my back with the flat side against my back, whereas some players actually like to carry it on this side. Um, if you are one of those players, you can simply detach these shoulder straps like so. And there are hooks on the front here that you can attach them to instead. Another pain point that I have as a coach when it comes to my tennis bags, and you probably have as a player as well, is easy access to your tennis rackets. As lots of racket bags I've tested before, the rackets are a bit of a squeeze to get into the bag. Now, this bag has two designated racket compartments, one on each side. And as you can see, this zipper goes all the way around the bag. And you can see here, I have super easy access to my rackets. Um, to be honest, I actually don't unzip it the whole way around. Um, you can simply zip it to here and you can easily take those rackets in and out. I've got two rackets on this side. Um, and if we go over to this side, I have another two rackets. Both of these compartments actually hold three rackets in. I tend to only pack four tennis rackets in my bag, but what I love about these racket compartments are there are some additional organizational pockets in the side for you to put different rackets in. Maybe you like to play paddle or um, you can use those pockets. I use these pockets for my training aids. So I've got these bad boys. Um, you might've seen this before, but yeah, as you can see, these actually have grips the same size as a normal tennis racket. Um, and so I've got four effectively in one pocket. So plenty of space, but yeah, really good feature to have different compartments. And this can be zipped all the way up to the top with ease. The next struggle I have with tennis bags is having a designated pocket for drinks bottles and a big enough pocket as lots of bags that have a pocket for drinks tends to be a little bit too small. And as a coach, I have big drinks bottles. And normally on court, I have at least two of them. So this top compartment here is actually a cooler compartment. You can see with its foil effect here. So this will keep your drinks cool, even in the heat of summer. And what's nice about it is it's waterproof as well. So if you do have um, a bottle that leaks, it's gonna protect all of your other gear in the bag. In this pocket, I keep my drinks bottles, my electrolytes, and I actually keep in here, my sun cream as well, but you don't actually have to because the cool thing about this bag is there is actually a designated pocket just for sun cream and lotions, which I'll show you in a minute. But yeah, this pocket is pretty 
deep. I'll show you, this is a standard size drinks bottle. And when you put it into this compartment, you can barely see it. So um, yeah, it could probably fit about four of those in, but I tend to have two. Next up, we have the main compartment. What I actually hadn't planned to say is how smooth these zippers are. Um, I think they're, yeah, they're YKK zippers. And look at that, beautiful. But um, the main compartment. Now, this pocket is huge. If you are a player that wants to carry more than six rackets, you could stuff a load more in there. But I use this pocket for pretty much everything else that I need to carry in my bag. So I've actually got these two organization pouches. I haven't used them yet, but these would be perfect when it comes to traveling. If you wanted to pack a load of clothes, um, you know, underwear, anything that you want to keep in one separate compartment, you can put in these and they come in different sizes. So like I say, I actually haven't used these yet, but for travel, they would be amazing. I keep my classic football sock with a couple of tennis balls inside it. If you've watched my videos before, you'll know what this is used for. Rocket ball, again, love this for serves. I've got my resistance bands, jump rope. I mean, I'm not gonna bore you with all the stuff that I keep in there, but that's in the main compartment in the middle. But as I mentioned before, there's another zip pocket on the side, which is fully waterproof, or I should say mess proof, where you can actually keep your sun creams. I actually need more access to my sun creams more frequently through the day as I like to reapply. So I put them in the top compartment, but if you don't use them so frequently, there's a nice smaller compartment in the center that you can use. And on the other side of that main compartment, there are a few mesh pockets, which you can organize your stuff in. So this central compartment for most of you as players will probably be used for spare clothing, warm-up equipment, and that sort of thing. Next up, if we check out the bottom of the bag here, this is a vented pocket, which in here, you can keep your spare trainers, you can put in sweaty clothing as well, because those air vents are gonna air your clothing and stop everything from smelling in the bag. I use it for my spare trainers, so I've got my, my grass court shoes in here. But what's really cool about this pocket as well is it's actually split into two sections. So not only is there a section for your footwear, but there's also a little slot to put your clothing on top. And so last but not least, we'll go through the small pockets at the side of the bag, as this is what really helps you to keep organized. In the top pocket is a small pocket for any small items that you have. So I've got my little lip balm, um, got my car keys in there as well. In the next pocket down, I've got my sunglasses some overgrips. And again, you can see here that there are multiple pockets within this one compartment. Some have zippers on, others you can just slide things in. So if you wanna put your mobile phone or anything else in there. Over on the other side of the bag, we have this tiny secret compartment, which when it's closed and you tuck in the zipper, is hidden for nobody else to see. But what it's great for is hiding cash, as a tennis coach, that's important, or anything else that's small that you want to keep concealed. And then down on the side here, we've got one large compartment again, which you can put in any paperwork. I actually have my notepad in here normally, but I'm actually using my notepad to keep me on track with this video. Ah, there's one more pocket, which is all the way through the back of the bag here. I use this for my bucket hat. Um, and the only reason why is it's the biggest, flattest pocket in the bag. So I can keep my hat from getting bent and crumpled up like this. So um, I think most people would probably use it for paperwork. Um, maybe you could put your laptop sleeve in there. Anything that has a bigger surface area that you want to keep flat is great in that back compartment. Now, as I mentioned at the start of the video, there is only one negative thing that I have to say about this bag. And to be honest, it's pretty petty and it's a personal choice of mine, but I don't really like the color of this one. As you know, I'm a big fan of everything black. And although this bag comes in black, at the time in which AD sent me this bag it wasn't in stock so they sent me this one which is called Bolt it's in like a gray and fluorescent yellow color it also comes in a color called Lava which again is a dark gray with orangey red accents to it but the Midnight Black is the most incredible looking bag what I love about it is it's super minimal and even the ADV branding on the black one is slightly more subtle which I love but 
If that's the only bad thing that I have to say about this bag, it's pretty good. It's made out of quality materials. It's only heavy because I've stuffed it full of coaching equipment, but the actual bag itself is super lightweight. Now, as a big thank you for watching all the way through to the end of this video, I've got a discount code for you. ADV are kindly giving all viewers of this video 10% off for a limited time only. So I'll pop the link in the description and my discount code on the screen here for you to enjoy 10% off. As well as this bag, they also do a backpack version, which I've been using a ton for my camera gear and when I'm traveling around and I don't need such a big tennis bag. And believe me when I say it's got even more organization than the tennis bag has. Massive thanks again to ADV for sponsoring this video and a big thank you to you for staying through to the end of it. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care.